Uh, Tesla's much anticipated full self driving beta version 12.1 has begun its slow rollout, raising questions about its future deployment beyond employees and the validity of its beta distinction. Uh, despite promises of a revolutionary shift in autonomous driving, skepticism lingers as Tesla faces yet another delay in achieving its self driving goals. In a recent update, Tesla Scope revealed that FSD Beta V12.1 is now reaching an initial wave of over 15,000 personally owned Tesla employee vehicles. This comes after a limited release to employees last month, sparking speculation about a potential public release as early as mid-January. Um, we can confirm that full self-driving Beta V12.1 has now rolled out to Wave 1. Um, which including 15,000 plus personally owned Tesla employee vehicles. It's happening. Uh, the transition to a neural network based system for city driving is at the core of FSD Beta V12's promised improvements. This version aims to eliminate over 300,000 lines of human written code, relying instead on an end to end neural network trained on millions of video clips. CEO Elon Musk showcased an early build of FSD V12 in August but doubts it persist about the removal of the beta distinction, as the release notes still include the term. However, Tesla's self-driving ambitions face a setback as the important FSD V12 update experiences delays. Despite Musk's recurrent promises of achieving self-driving by year-end, it appears that this goal is will be deferred once again. The update set to introduce end-to-end -end neural nets, which would handle the vehicle's controls through artificial intelligence, faces additional testing requirements outside California. Uh, Musk acknowledged that while the system performs well in California, it requires more training for areas with heavy rainfall, raising concerns among FSD beta testers about its effectiveness in the diverse weather conditions. The delay fuels skepticism about Tesla's ability to deliver a truly self-driving system, especially as the company remains tight-lipped about its plans for the post-beta phase. And Tesla still mandates FSD drivers to remain hands-on and ready to take control, absolving the automaker of responsibility for accidents on autopilot or FSD. Despite Musk's assertion that V12 is on many cars, it's crucial to differentiate between internal employee test fleets and customer updates, weaving uncertainty about the actual progress of the rollout. As Tesla grapples with delays and the elusive goal of removing the beta label, skepticism prevails regarding the practicality and safety of its full self-driving capabilities. The FSD beta and V12.1 rollout marks a significant step, but questions about the system's performance in various conditions and Tesla's commitment to taking responsibility remain unanswered.